Okey, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh so, Kepada semua pelajar Untuk PSP 104 Kita akan teruskan dengan chapter 5 Which is the latter calculation So I hope you guys at home stay, Please stay at home Jaga kesihatan Jaga keselamatan diri Okay So By the way We need to continue our chapter Which is chapter 5 uh, And hopefully by uh, this video, I can cover the whole chapters of chapter 5, which is the letter calculation. And if you have any question, you can always ask me, you can text me, and uh, might probably at the end of this session, we can have an online uh, meeting uh, via Zooms, or we can, you can always text me via WhatsApp. So, so we continue uh, our lecture on chapter 5, which is the letter calculation. Methods of calculation and calculation of the latex. So previously, in chapter 4, we did mention about the preservation. How you want to preserve a latex so it can remain in latex form. But for chapter 5, you want to convert it. So from the latex, uh, the liquid form to the solid form, which is the calculation. So basically, this chapter is, uh, will cover 5 types or 5 techniques uh, that being uh, commonly used in uh, industry or research for calculation. So, uh, if uh, this top, but but mainly this topic will cover more on acid additions and the uh, auto calculations of latex. So, by the end of this chapter, by the end of this chapter, you should be able to list and explain the methods of NR latex calculation to differentiate the calculation techniques in terms of their procedure, advantage and disadvantage, might probably some sort of question always ask about the advantage and disadvantage of each of the techniques. You might probably need to be able to differentiate the advantage and disadvantage of different types that I will cover later on. And finally, to identify the amounts of acid used for calculation. Although, in this chapter, I will only slightly touch on the how to calculate the amounts used for calculation. But bear in mind, by coming semester, which is PST 2 to 1, you will conduct uh, by yourself the calculations of latex. You need to have a strong basic on how to, uh, to measure the amount required for calculation process. So, method of calculation is a destabilizing agent cited in literature, which is the addition of acid, which is if I did, uh, if you can recall previously, I did mentions about the how the stability of latex can be achieved is to eliminate some of the H, uh, positive charges so that remain the negatively charged of the lipids and protein so that latex will stay in liquid form. And the second one is addition of metal ion. Metal ion will promote the coagulation. Eventually, it will promote the coagulation, although it's slow coagulation process, but it will. And additional uh, of uh, additions of solvent, heating, and mechanical agitation. This is the uh, destabilizing agent uh, that commonly you can see in uh, literatures or in books, internet, and so on. But in this chapter, we only cover on calculation techniques. Of first one is the acid addition, second one the assisted biological calculation, third one. The autocoagulation process. I did mention about the autocoagulation in previous chapter, which is, if I'm not mistaken, in chapter two or chapter three, how the autocoagulation autocoagulation can be achieved, how that latex that uh, freshly tapped that eventually coagulate by itself. Okay, but I will touch it again. Don't worry about that. And the continuous coagulation process, and finally the heat gelation uh, process. We start with the acid coagulation. This is a very common process of uh, coagulation process in industry uh, and uh, lab practices and research industry. And then the most important method of coagulation is the reduction of Z potentials by the additions of acid. And uh, this may be done in three ways. Additions of uh, uh, acid additions the carbohydrate addition, which is acid development known as assisted biological coagulation. And finally, the autocoagulation, which is the natural acid developed uh, via the uh, microorganism uh, microbes 
organism activity that uh, consume protein on the layers of latex and it will promote the acid's development. For acid addition, in practice, the palmic acid is used predominantly for preparation of RSS, which is the red smoke sheets. ADS is air dry sheets, crepes, and most of the block rubber prepared from latex. So, kebanyakan dekat industri kita akan guna palmic acid. Palmic acid is predominantly uh, predominantly used in industry because it is very mild acid. Okay, and uh, whereas the sulfuric acid, which is stronger than palmic acid, is avoided due to its adverse effects of color. Uh, PRI, the plasticity, plasticity retention index, and the cure rates of rubber, which is, uh, accepts the scheme uh, latex, PEAT, MG30, and coagulation. And most of the time, in uh, research or in industry, we try to avoid uh, the usage of sulfuric acid. But some sort of the industry did use the sulfuric acid, but only for certain applications. But probably we will cover this one in later chapter. Don't worry about this. But bear in mind, commonly in industry, we use formic acid. <coughs> Acetic acid is weaker than formic acid, and it is used to confine of partially coagulation of the yellow fraction of the preparation of uh, pale crypts. Uh, if uh, I did mention previously on the applications of uh, formic acid, Acetic acid also used in industry and application of uh, pale creep, which is a colored rubber. Uh, but acid should be diluted to about 3% of weight of a volume before addition, adding to latex. This is, this is because we don't want to direct, uh, you pour, directly pour the acid onto the latex because it will auto, uh, immediately coagulate uh, during contact of the acid with the latex. So the uh, common practice, we will dilute it about uh, approximately about 3% of weight of a volume. And the pH of coagulation, uh, roughly around 5 to 5.2. And we can check the pH via the pH meter. Or in our lab, we have a um, pH meter. So that it's much more accurate to measure the uh, pH. And because of the pH is only slightly acidic, okay? Uh, nearly uh, 5 uh, pH and the coagulation co uh, complete approximately about 6 to 10 hours. Approximately uh, 6 to 10 hours is a common um, coagulation uh, process uh, for latex. Okay? Uh, we can fasten the, the process but the acids uh, required for the process might be uh, more and it might impact the colors of the final product. Uh, that's the reason why we try to achieve at 3% and we prolong the coagulation process. By doing that, we can have a, a good a colored product. The second process, the assisted biological coagulation. In this process, the molasses contains of 50% weight of weight of carbohydrate. What is molasses? It's a byproduct of sugar refining industry. Okay, uh, the molasses is added to the rates of 0.8% of weight of weight of BRC, dry rubber content, as a substrate of acid development of bacteria. How this molasses provide the uh, acid development? Okay, molasses content of the hydro uh, hydrocarbons, uh, carbohydrates content, and this uh, carbohydrate content will promote or will attract uh, bacteria to grow on the uh, systems, latex that you added with the molasses. And eventually, as the, acid, uh, as the uh, bacteria attacks your molasses and will uh, release the carbon dioxide, and the carbon dioxide will interact with the byproduct, which is water, and it will uh, result in formation of the acid. And this acid will be used as a uh, uh, medium for coagulation process. But this method can only be used for unpreserved latex. And it is not applicable for the bulk of factory who use preservatives to suppress bacteria action. Previous chapter, we did uh, covers on the latex preservation. Uh, preservation. 
The preservations of lyotypes commonly you, you put the ammonia. Uh, for assisted biological coagulation, lyotypes must not be preserved. Uh, you need to bear in mind the only way to use the assisted biological coagulation, we uh, must use the unpreserved lyotypes. So, dalam cerita lain, dalam kata lain, tak boleh ada sebab-sebab apa-apa uh, bahan kimia yang boleh preserve latex sebelum awak guna process of biological calculation. Hopefully, this is very clear. But the, the disadvantage of this uh, calculation is a long maturation period, which is the 28 to 36 hours of complete calculation. Okay. okay. So, Previously, using acid, you can achieve 6 to 8 hours of pre, uh, coagulation. But for uh, bio, uh, biological assisted coagulation, approximately 24 hours, which is one day, or, one, or approximately one and a half days for complete coagulation. This is because you need to promote the bacteria growth. As the more bacteria grows on the system, it will uh, release the carbon dioxide. More carbon dioxide will combine with the byproduct of water, will promote more acid and enough for coagulation process. Okay, but I didn't mention about the advantage of this uh, system. What's the, the advantage of this system? This system uh, eliminate the use of preservative. So previously, in other types of uh, latex, you use the preservative to preserve latex. But for bio assisted, you did not use any preservative, so you will cut the cost of preservation. And for the coagulation process, you use the molasses, which is the byproduct from the uh, sugar refining industry. And this byproduct usually is very cheap. Sometimes you can get it uh, for free of charge uh, without any extra charges. So that is basically the, why the biological assist. Uh, uh, coagulation uh, being used uh, in um, industry. 